Hey, happy, wonderful Saturday to you. It's Kelly Baker here at BC Tactical in Studio 3, also known as the Man Cave. As you can see, we have all kinds of junk in the back that we don't need, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about today, more junk that we don't need. Wait, this is something that you might need. I uh, picked this little uh, dude up from a uh, buddy of mine that uh, I saw over at NWA Adventures, so check out his uh, YouTube channel if you want. NWA Adventures, and uh, he turned me on to a knife that I saw, and I thought, hmm, I must have one. Now, me and my good friend R.C. Burns have uh, have reached out and, uh, and gotten us one. Here's the box from Holtzman Gorilla Survival. Holtzman Gorilla Survival. All right, so I spoke to Mr. Holtzman specifically, and I said, hey, man, I sure would. Uh, I sure would like to uh, to see this knife in action. And he said, "Brother, that's what we do here at Holtzman's Survival. Holtzman's Gorilla Survival. The gorilla is no accident." He says he makes this stuff to withstand it all. So if a gorilla were to use this product, it would be fine. All right. So what comes in the box? This is what I got. So you can see it's professionally packaged. It's got all kinds of little air doodlers in there or whatever. It's got a bag on the box. Hang on. And we get this professional. Look at that. How much stuff do you buy these days that comes in something like this? So there's Holtzman's and it's got a grill on it. Let's see what's inside. You ready? Open this guy up like this. It's got that magnetic box. That's worth that's worth a lot. Oh, let's see what we got here. Let me adjust this guy just a little bit. So we have a warning thing that says, hey, be careful. Uh, this is going to cut you. So it must be a knife, right? Okay, and then, as you can see, we've got... A protective cover right there and in here we have all the stuff we got this and this comes with shoes why is that in with a knife I don't know I'm not a shoe expert okay so let's see what all we got in here first thing we've got is a knife it comes classily protected in a knife condom which is always the best idea to do Holtzman's Gorilla Bloodline. Now he offers some different knives, but as you'll notice, it's got the beautiful orange scales there because if you drop it, you want to be able to find it for sure. It's got a wonderful little thumb rest area right here. I like that. So if you're working on certain things, you might want your thumb here instead of back on the jimping back here. But, uh, beautiful micarta handles as you can see the finish work on this is is outstanding for the price point you can't beat it here's your thickness got about three sixteenths of an inch back there which is which is decent it is full tang straight down to the end got a small cut out here for a strand of paracord or whatever and then you have this wonderful bushcraft blade that has become pretty much the industry standard. I mean, a lot of people use these drop point knives and stuff like that, but this one's just got a little, just a slight drop to that, if you can see there. It's just perfectly done. No hot spots, no rust spots. The, the finish work is excellent. So, the price point on this guy, I think he's got them on sale right now, but the general price point's 150 bucks. 150 bucks for a good knife is not that big a deal. You know, I mean, if you're looking at a Topps knife or something like that, the same thing, a Essie knife, something like that, you're, you're looking at triple that, double that, at least double, you know, 300 bucks. Get you a Tom Brown Jr. tracker or something. So it's this big and it's that, and you know, you can get you one of those that looks like a, a Razorback fin or something. <laughs> you can go walking out in the woods and, have squirrels make fun of you. But anyway, so you get you one of those things. Now, if you look at this thing, it's it's not big. It's not, it's not dramatic. It's not some kind of big showy thing. 
But what it is, it's a 100% bushcraft knife. Got a hell of an edge on it. Hell of an edge straight out of the box. Two licks on the strop might help it a little. But I'm telling you, you don't really have to do anything to that. It is ready straight out of the box. You can see it came oiled up. So it's nice and oiled. But I really love that micarta handle and those orange scales. And like I say, there, there's no there's no areas or anything. And I've got a pretty good size hand, but that feels comfortable in the hand, runs all the way through, gives my little finger a nice place to rest and gives me positive control all the way. And I have my thumb jipping. This is 1095 high carbon steel, and it's got a picture of a gorilla on it. How can you beat it? You can't. All right, so let's see what else comes with this thing, man. All right, so uh, this is the sheath. Now you're thinking about those sheaths that you get with other knives, and, and I get that. Not from, uh, not from Nate Holtzman. Look at this. Look at this. So... He has uh, come up with this sheath that you can have to carry in a million different configurations. Sideways, upside down, horizontal, vertical, whatever you want to do with it, you can carry it. And it's got the slip latch right down here. So you can push it to the side, open it up, carry it on your vest or whatever you want to do. See, there you go. And... You've got it positively secured to whatever you want it to do. And you don't have to take off your belt to put it on there. All right, so you can carry it on your kit, upside down, whatever you want to do. Let's see how it fits inside the sheath. That's a Kydex sheath. It's not plastic. It's not plastic. Look at that. Look at that. It's in there. It's not coming out. It is absolutely in there. Now we got this little uh, leather guy on the back. Look at that. So we got this little leather guy. And that is just, I'm going to say, unsnap it on the front, take it around. And now we snap it on the front. You got it around the back right in here so it is not coming out when you're moving it's not coming out when you're moving and when you get ready to take it out you just flip and you push with your thumb right here so you flip and you push i don't don't do it up and then try to push it in there you'll cut your leather because it fits tight so you put it into the sheath and then just put that straight around it so there you have the Holtzman's Gorilla Bloodline in a Kydex sheath made to carry any way you want to in the world. And you'll say, but there's other stuff on here. And there is. There's other stuff in the box as well. One thing that we've got is you got a ferro rod right here. You've got a tool, a little Allen wrench tool right here to adjust any of your screws and stuff like that. So you don't have to look for that Allen wrench that you lost three years ago. Got some cord so we can tie it off. And what I think is pretty neat is you get this matching beefy little striker so you're not having to strike with your knife unless you just wanted to but you get this neat little striker also with a grill on it which I think is cool this guy matches as well it's got a little bungee shot cord on it it's like Nathan has lost it's like Nathan has uh, thought of everything so he really did put a lot of thought into this knife you know uh, so your fire steel goes right in here and let me tell you something that doesn't just slide in and out. You got to put it in there. It's not going to go anywhere, first of all. But you take your shock cord and you put it around the bottom. Take your shock cord right here and you put it around the bottom. And now it's definitely not going anywhere. Uh, then you got your little striker. And it fits right in here. Just like that. Now, for 150 bucks, For 150 bucks, where are you going to find a high carbon steel 
blade. 1075 high carbon steel with micarta handles, beautiful scales, beautiful decorative scales so you can pick it up and see it if you drop it on the ground. Uh, Kydex sheath, like a no BS Kydex sheath. All this on the back to house it, carry it however you want to. Uh, a beefy little striker and a beefy little uh, ferro rod. Where are you going to find all that for 150 bucks? Nowhere. Nowhere. Um, you're not going to find a knife of this caliber for 150 bucks anywhere. But I was noticing when I was getting ready to order mine, you can order them from Holtzman's Survival itself. Holtzman's Gorilla Survival. H-O-L-T-Z-M-A-N-S. Holtzman's Gorilla. Nathan. Nate Holtzman. He's the man. Uh, put a lot of thought into this and his other blades. He's got other blades too. If this one ain't your cup of tea, if it ain't long enough, if it ain't big enough, or if it ain't short enough, or whatever, check out his other blades. He's also got other equipment on there that you'll want to look at as well. But anyway, so all that being said, where are you going to find this for 150 bucks? Nowhere. But he's got them on sale right now. I don't know if they're overstock. I don't know if he couldn't sell enough of them. I don't know what the reason was. He's not paying me to say it. I'm just telling you, if you get on there and order, they were on sale, what, three or four days ago? Three or four days ago when we were looking. So just a few days ago. And when I ordered it, he said it'll be there on Saturday. And dude, it was there on Saturday. I ordered it on a Thursday and he said it'll be there on this day. And it was there on that day. So, hey man, I'm going to say that uh, I've got a lot of knives. You see all my knives hanging up. I've got everything from the Rambo knives to the old Civil War knives to cool dude case knives and big knives and everything. I've even got my handmade knives from all the people that make me handmade knives here and there. But I will tell you, for the money, for the money, you will not get a better quality knife than the Holtzman's Gorilla right there. The Bloodline, if it's perfect in the hand, get one. And then comment and tell me that I'm full of shit. Get one and comment and tell me that I'm wrong. Because you can't. Because I'm not wrong. <laughs> so, anyway, there you have it. The Holtzman's Gorilla Bloodline. And, uh, you know, I really like, even on the back edge here. Say you lose this little guy down here, this little striker thing back here. He's got the he's got the squared off edge on the back. It's not rounded. So, I mean, he's put that much thought into it that it's straight on the back so you can strike that ferro rod whether or not your striker falls out of your hand or whatever when you're using it. He's thought of enough that he has got the positive lock on the Kydex sheath, but then, and nobody else has done this, that I've seen, he puts that leather, leather catch on there so it's not going anywhere. Even if it gets loose from the Kydex and falls out, because we've all seen that, this one's not going anywhere. Then you've got a beefy little fire stick. I'm telling you, it's in there. Beefy little fire stick. Decent, nice. You know, I haven't used it yet. I just got it in. And then, and all this stuff matches. This thing's in there too, man. I'll bet you Nate, I'll bet you Nate Holtzman's got one of these that he's carried forever and a day and it hasn't gone anywhere. It's all still in the case. It won't fall out. It refuses to. So look at the equipment and see what you get. Now, I don't care if people buy one. I'm not like, uh, I'm not one of those, uh, infomercial dudes or whatever, like the, the knife show dude or whatever. That's not really my bag. What we do is we find cool stuff. To talk to you about. Sometimes the cool stuff that we find sucks. And if it sucks, we'll tell you it sucks. But this does not. So, hey, if you like our channel, like and subscribe. I don't know where RC's going to put it when he edits or whatever. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'll drop a link to Holtzman's Gorilla stuff. Hey, uh, check them out yourself. If, uh, if you're looking for a good bushcraft knife in the $150, $100 range, I mean, if you can get this for 100 bucks, that is cheap, man. That's cheap. So, there you go. I mean, you can get an M-Tech for $15 all day long. 
You can go get you an M-Tech or a Master Cutlery or whatever, Elk Ridge. You can get all that crap for uh, $15 all day long. But uh, the, the old Pakistanis and, and Hindu Indian stuff. But if you can get this guy for 100 bucks, would you rather pay 100 bucks for a decent bushcraft knife that you're going to pay for once in a lifetime? Or are you going to pay for one $15 and you got to buy one every 15 minutes? So... That is my say. I got a lot of $15 knives. I got a lot of bunch of m -tech crap and shit running around here, man. It's got a blade on it. I probably got one. But anyway, I'm not telling you to buy one of those. So Holtzman's Gorilla Survival. They got other stuff. So if you're not looking for a knife, check it out. But anyway, now you've seen the Holtzman's Gorilla Survival Bloodline, which is, uh, be honest with you, I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorites already. I haven't taken it out and put it through its paces yet, but I can tell you just by feeling and looking that it's quality and it's going to be all right. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching BC Tactical, the guys that talk about stuff that, that people have to have in their life. So whenever, whenever you get ready to see stuff you have to have, just let us know. So like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that stuff, reach out to uh, Holtzman's Gorilla if you want to. If you don't, that's totally up to you. Uh, for my good friend, R.C. Burns, I'm Kelly Baker. We're BC Tactical. So, hey, stay tuned and keep watching. We appreciate you.